Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing with you what I received for Christmas, but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So what did I receive for Christmas 2022? Well, first of all, Happy New Year everybody! It is now 2023 and I wanted to say Happy New Year to you all. This is the first video of 2023. Now, there was supposed to be a last video of 2022 and unfortunately I was far too ill to finish editing it. So I had filmed, I had partially edited a Christmas gift guide video and to be honest I was pushing it a bit to get it out even had I been well enough to finish it because those kind of videos take ages and ages to edit because you need to get in all the brand names and all the URLs of the websites and show different products and to really give you guys an idea of what the sort of things that these places sell and it, I probably edited about a third of it and then got absolutely knocked sideways with this horrific cold that's been going around. Well, I actually thought I had the flu that's been going around in the UK. <clears throat> I'm still not quite back to normal now because after that one, I then got hit with a second one. So sadly, I was just not well enough to get it fixed. And when I started to feel a bit like maybe I might be able to get it edited, it was way past the time when there would be any possibility of anybody being able to order anything and getting it posted in time for Christmas. So I do apologize. I was gutted about it. I felt really, really bad. I love doing those kind of videos, but they are a lot of work editing wise. So I promise next year I've saved everything. I've got all the, the thumbnails, all the, all the different URLs, all the little boxes that I use with all the brand names, etc. They're all ready to go. So next year you will get a bigger, better Christmas gift guide. But all I can do is apologize. And so I wanted to show you all the things that I received for Christmas from Father Christmas myself. Now, actually, the first thing that I received, well, it was something that I bought for the Heavy Metal Minions because I had decided to do this Christmas gift guide and done a bit of research into some little small brands and had asked people on Instagram if they could recommend any small businesses. And the owner of Grimly Fiendish Crafts recommended her business and she recommended a massive list of other ones, which was really, really helpful, really, really helped in making the video if I'd ever managed to get it finished. And because they were so cute, the products on her page, I actually ordered um, a product each for my children. So I ordered for my son, this little Mothman. He's adorable. And I ordered for my daughter, a purple bat because she is ever the little goth. She loves purple, she loves bats. They were absolutely perfect. And bless her, Grimly sent me my own little red bat and I felt really really bad because she obviously sent this to me because she wanted me to put it in the video and then I didn't end up putting the video out there so I just wanted to show you guys it's so cute they're just so utterly utterly adorable definitely go check out Grimly Fiendish Crafts this will not be the last time that they appear on this channel I absolutely love them and many apologies to you Grimly for, for not getting that video out for you I do apologize right so that was stuff for the kids and and a little little red bat for me but now I'm going to show you what I received from Father Christmas and my kids. So the first thing that my son bought me was um, at their school they have a little thing where you have to donate some gifts. It's a pain, you have to go shopping and try and find a reasonably priced gift that isn't alcohol and a bunch of other list of things you're not allowed to give uh, and then you donate it to the school and then three weeks later you get asked for, to send them all in with money so that they can buy them back. <laughs> so but it's cute because they get to go shopping for their parents and it's their decision, which is really nice to see what they pick for you. Uh, and so my son got me two bars of soap. Uh, now, <laughs> as it turns out when I did my research, they're actually men's soap. They are cleansing bars, um, but they are by Ted Baker. And I know why he got them for me because one of them is black. So one of them is called Graphite Black by Ted Baker and the other one is called Cashmere Gold. They came as a little set. Um, they are actually delicious smelling. The Cashmere Gold smells like marine cardamom and musk, which yum. Uh, and then the Graphite Black smells like tobacco, cedar and pepper. They are really yummy smelling. They are definitely men's fragrances and they've got that sort of like polished designer perfume scent to them 
but I don't care, they're delicious. I absolutely love men's fragrances. I like the way that they're sort of spicy and woody. I love unusual fragrances, which is why I am a big fan of Lush's perfume, but we will get to that in a minute. Uh, so not only did he get me those, he also got me some wax melts. So he got me this one, which is by, I think it's called Sensational. This is Sugar Pine. Now I have to admit, I don't usually use wax melts because children in the house, open flame, great big thing of liquid wax possibly not the safest idea um, but what I might do is use these when they're not home <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can dispose of the wax before they get home um, so this one like I said is sugar pine it smells like um, like a Christmas tree but there's sort of more like cedar and other woody notes to it as well and something slightly sweet that I can't quite put my finger on might be like a clove or something like that and then this one is Santa's Sugar Cookies. Um, it's very vanilla-y. There is an element of maybe musk to it, something like that. But um, I mean, it says glass of milk. So they might have, it has got like a sort of sweet, milky, vanilla-y smell to it. Um, yeah, it's quite, that's quite sickly, that one. They're two very different smells, but it was so sweet that they thought of that. So really, really pleased with those. And then my daughter from the same sort of school buying event uh, got me these which are they are Bayliss and Harding bath bombs so we have got Mulberry Fizz now I can't figure out if they're different fragrances or if they all smell off the same so it says here uh, our limited edition scent embodies sparkling mulberry and passion fruit accents fused with sweet blackberry I have a funny feeling they're all the same smell they're just three different balls of it because it's not sort of saying oh in one it's this ingredients and in another we'll find out when I use them but th they are lovely and fruity and, you know, really, really yummy. So the next thing that they got me was another bath bomb. I've already used it. I've already used it. That is a lush bath bomb in the smell Goddess. I love that fragrance. It's absolutely divine. I thoroughly enjoyed my two hour bath with that bath bomb. It was glorious. There was glitter. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful bath bomb. The, the fragrance is gorgeous. It says that it is oud and jasmine uh, and they also make a perfume of it and a soap. So I'm definitely think that I'm going to get myself a soap because it, you know, means you can use it in the shower and you have it smelling all over you. I may get myself the perfume. I sprayed the perfume onto a smelling strip in store and didn't like it in the store. But then when I got home, I did really like it. So it might be I either don't like the top notes or it might be that the smell of inner lush sort of mingled with it and made it smell weird. So I'm going to spray it on me next time I'm in a lush and, and leave and then, you know, smell it on me immediately and see how it, it, it dries down as well. So I'm quite interested to try that. But yeah, the, the dried down smell is delicious, but it could also smell vile on me. We'll have to see. But yeah, that was the Lush Bath Bomb in Goddess. So the next thing that they got me was, quite frankly, a metric ton of chocolate. <laughs> so, <laughs> normally I say, no chocolate, I'm on a diet. And yeah, you know, I've definitely put weight on. And this year I was like, you know what? I spend the whole time being like, everybody else has got chocolate. I was like, just get me some chocolate. And so I am now in January on a weight loss journey. Um, if you want to join me, if you want to see what I get up to, how I do it, my progress, that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna try and film little shorts for Instagram and TikTok and that kind of thing. But let me know if you would like like a long form video of the whole of my journey from me getting from now back to my target weight. I've got quite a bit to go, it's over a stone and a half, but you know, I would like to know if you guys would like to come along for the ride. But I thoroughly enjoyed putting it on. <laughs> so <laughs> It's a bit harder getting it off, but yeah, I enjoyed eating my chocolate. So they got me a Maltesers selection box, which was divine. So many delicious chocolate bars in there. I liked every single one of them. It was great because normally with a selection box, I don't like all of them, but that one, I loved everything. Um, they got me a bag of Twirl Bites because Twirls are my favourite chocolate bar. Well, actually, Orange Twirls are my favourite chocolate bar, which I got two of. Uh, I got, yeah, a bag of Twirl Bites. They don't do Orange Twirl Bites, annoyingly, because yeah but if they did i would want those and i also got a bag of um chocolate orange orange chocolate buttons which i mean they're just chocolate buttons that taste like tw orange twirls so yum absolutely delicious devoured the lot they were amazing loved them okay then some of the small bits that i got from the kids with the help of heavy metal hubby uh so the first thing i got is this adorable little santa look he's really cute a little santa skull who doesn't love a Santa skull he is gonna live in my bedroom I think 
and just you know be a bit more of a Christmas theme. Our Christmas tree is purple um, themed, black, purple, and silver. We've got like Killstar bat Christmas ornaments and stuff so this would look weird on the Christmas tree but I just think he's really cute I might change the thread on him so it's not gold and then I'm just keeping our bedroom because our bedroom's uh, colour scheme is grey black and red a couple of key rings so I got this from Headcase Curios which is like a alternative shop in Portsmouth that they tend to go to when they want to get me some knickknacks for my birthday or for Christmas or whatever uh, and this one says if tea can't fix it it's a serious problem which that is definitely my truth so <laughs> I love me a cup of tea so yes I very much enjoyed that and then I also got this really cool little like witchy book love it it's really cool it's quite heavy um but I do love a little key ring so I'm very very pleased with that I'll have to switch out some of the key rings on my other bags and stuff to put those on but yeah they're really cool so I don't know if you're aware I love chilies absolutely love fresh chilies not a big fan of like those bottled sauces with the extract i like sauces that are made of fresh chilies this oh my god so it says grow your own ring of fire it is extra hot ghost chilies in a tin i love ghost chilies so apparently um you just open it water it put the, the seeds under the soil and then leave it in direct sunlight so heavy Mutt hubby says now is not the time i need to wait until sort of february march but then I am going to grow myself some ghost chilies because I already have a turtle claw. Uh, I grew some nagas. Uh, we grew a, just a basic yellow chili that I, I mean I put like four of them in my dinner last night because it just there wasn't really hot enough. But I did, also didn't want to put a California Reaper in my dinner, you know. <laughs> so I thought I had Thai chilies, but I'd run out. So um, yeah, this will be quite nice to have something a bit different in my chili repertoire. Uh, and one of the last sort of jokey little presents. So. I don't know if you've seen the show Jam. It was a sort of late 90s, maybe early noughties. I don't think it was early noughties. I think it was late 90s TV show. It had Simon Pegg in it. Uh, it had Kevin Eldon in it. Um, a lot of the girls from Smack the Pony. It was a brilliant, weird Channel 4, like midnight kind of TV show. Um, and they had some really odd sketches in there and they had one of this lady and she was a cleaning lady and she was doing the, their house with a tiny hoover and for some reason she was Spanish and so she would always go oh my tiny hoover no no I must use my tiny hoover please I must use my little hoover it's very good and so when he saw this because it's a little running joke between me and heavy metal hubby about the tiny hoover he said he had to get me this so it is a tiny vacuum cleaner <laughs> so basically I'm gonna keep it for in here in my YouTube room so that I can hoover my little desk and that kind of thing I mean it is absolutely minute it's like this big so <laughs> it says no batteries I think it's a USB type little tiny hoover there you are look teeny tiny hoover love it love it it's just a nice little in in joke that me and heavy metal hubby have and i love the fact that <laughs> you know it's been at least 20 years and uh yeah we still keep going with the in jokes <laughs> so then i also received this awesome book it is healthy indian vegetarian I had to just run downstairs and grab it because I have been using it today to make tonight's dinner. So I will let you know on the delicious curries that we have. Uh, I think tonight we are having spicy chana dal and masala urad dal. So I am really looking forward to trying them. I do love a veggie curry. I love dals and things like that. I think curry is one of those mediums where you really can just completely remove the meat and you don't miss it at all. I am actually doing a meat cup curry as well to go with it because I'm working this weekend I want to have lots of food in the fridge already cooked that I can eat over the weekend etc and because I'm on this diet I don't get to have any rice with it or anything so I have to fill myself up on the protein and I'll probably make myself some cauliflower rice I'm really 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 thrilled to you know make some recipes from that book they sound delicious okay the next item that I got this is what I received from the children this is the synchro spike choker by Killstar in matte black now they they do make this in like a shiny silver as well but I really fancied having something that is matte black I was like it's just different I've got some things that have got matte black accessories on them etc 
I just fancied trying something different and it was on a very reasonable price. I will of course review it later for you guys. But um, yeah, I really like the fact it's poppered as well and not a buckle because sometimes the buckles get caught in your hair. So yeah, really cool. That is the Synchro Spike Choker. Then I received from Killstar, well, from my, from my parents, which they didn't buy, I bought it. <laughs> And then, and then I gave it to my mum and said, this is what you're giving me. Uh, these are the Shadow Stripe Trill Killstar Trousers. Now, I have worn these, hence why they look a little bit wrinkly. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, they're really cool. I really like the, uh, I don't know what you call them. Are they, are they just dangly straps? My dad thought that they were braces, which I was like, no, it'd look kind of weird if you wore them as braces. But I really like these. I wanted some Killstar trousers that had a bit of a higher waist on them because uh, I've got some certain things that I wanted to wear them with. And a lot of my sort of stretchy trousers like this are a bit more low rise. So I wanted something that was really nice and high rise, especially where I'm not feeling my body at the moment. I was like, no, high rise is better. Tuck that tummy in. So, <laughs> so again, I will give you a full review on these in a later video last but not least the main event the main well it's two things it's two things i received from heavy metal hubby i mean i again i bought it <laughs> this is the avelina de more black friday handbag it's gorgeous i have wanted this bag for years the moment it came out i wanted it and i i was looking on killstar and i was going to get i can't remember what it's called it's it's stripes it's not the black and white stripe it's like one stripe is patent and one stripe is like velour and i i really wanted it and then i was like but it kind of is like this and then when i went on her website she was having a black friday sale and i put it in my basket and i was going to get it because the black friday sale was so good and then the postage made me have kittens <laughs> so I just walked away and then a couple of days later she sent me an email saying because we've noticed that you've put this in your basket and then haven't bought it have 15% off and it covered the postage which was phenomenal so I could finally justify getting myself the Black Friday bag and I also got the wallet from my mum and dad <laughs> it's so beautiful it's gorgeous honestly the quality is amazing again I will do a full review on these at a later date because I have been using them but I haven't used them enough yet to be able to give you a really good review um I of course got it with the red inside because you can get it in black like electric lime green purple and it is a beautiful shade of purple and bright red of course I had to have bright red I absolutely love it it's gorgeous look I even left the tag on it here so it still says Avelina de More on it it's absolutely beautiful I am so pleased with it I, I can't wait to share with you all the gorgeous things about it um, but like I said you know me I like to review something when I had a really good try at, at wearing it to make sure that I'm not recommending something that will fall apart etc so I will give it a good month before I actually review it because things you know for the first two weeks of course it's great condition you know if it falls apart in two weeks then you're really in trouble aren't you but I want to give it a good month before I review it so that I know how well it's wearing but look at it it's so beautiful it's so flipping beautiful I absolutely love it so that was my what I got for Christmas in 2022 video i hope you enjoyed it what is your favorite item that i received what did you get for christmas tell me the coolest thing that you got for christmas i would love to hear in the comments section and remember to let me know if you would like me to make that weight loss journey youtube video i'm going to be doing stuff on my instagram and on tiktok so head over the, to those platforms if you want short videos on it um on instagram it will only be in my stories i'm not going to do it as reels and stuff i don't want it appearing on the normal timeline it will just be as stories if you want to see it it will be on tiktok however or let me know and i will do a full length youtube video but that will be my probably my full journey so that you can see it from start to finish because youtube videos i might as well just make a long form video remember to like this video comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload and remember people stay heavy